A pharmaceutical curing process for various types of generic drugs consists of two stages. In the first stage, a fluid bed of granules is heated to dry and cure additives included prior to curing. The bed enters this stage at 1.5 feet per second with a width of 7 feet and depth of 6 inches. The bed has a moisture content of 8% and its density is 1.9 pounds per cubic foot. Also, the heat capacity of the granules is 2.2 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. To begin the curing process, dry air at 85 degrees Fahrenheit is heated to evaporate the water content and raise the granule bed to 435 degrees Fahrenheit to complete the curing process. After curing, the granules will be cooled to 225 degrees Fahrenheit in a heat recovery section before being prepared for packaging. Disregarding any particular emissions generated, the heating rate required to evaporate all moisture and raise the granule bed to 435 degrees Fahrenheit is most nearly A. 24 B. 26 C. 28 or D. 30 Pause the video and give yourself 5 minutes to solve the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. Today we shall discuss some basic principles of heating and evaporation. In thermodynamics, heat refers to energy that is transferred from a warmer substance or object to a cooler one. It can be defined as the total amount of transferred energy excluding any microscopic work that was done and any transfer of part of the object itself. Vaporization of an element or compound is a phase transition from the liquid phase to vapor. There are two types of vaporization, evaporation and boiling. Evaporation is a surface phenomenon, whereas boiling is a bulk phenomenon. Evaporation is a phase transition from the liquid phase to vapor that occurs at temperatures below the boiling temperature at a given pressure. Evaporation only occurs when the partial pressure of vapor of a substance is less than the equilibrium vapor pressure. Steam is water in its gaseous state. Enough heat must be added to the water to raise the temperature of liquid water to its boiling point, and then more heat is added to cause a change of state to steam without an increase in temperature. The amount of heat required to raise the water to boiling temperature is called sensible heat and the amount of heat required to change the water to steam is called latent heat of vaporization. A British thermal unit, commonly called BTU for short, is a measure of an amount of heat and is defined as the amount of heat needed to raise one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. At the boiling point of water, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit, it takes 970.3 BTU per pound to change one pound of water to one pound of steam. This is also called the latent heat of vaporization. For solid materials, the amount of energy required to raise this temperature will vary. For our pharmaceutical granules, it takes 2.2 BTU to raise one pound of material by one degree Fahrenheit. So let's get to solving this problem. The question essentially asks how much energy it takes to evaporate the moisture in the granule bed and raise the bed temperature from 85 degrees to 435 degrees Fahrenheit. First, we need to figure out how much pounds of granules we will be processing per hour. The dimensions of the bed are 7 feet by 6 inches and it enters the curing stage at 1.5 feet per second. We can multiply these three together to get our volumetric flow rate, which is 5.25 cubic feet per second. The product density is 1.9 pounds per cubic foot. So we can multiply the density by the volumetric flow rate to get our process weight rate, which is 9.98 pounds per second. There are 3,600 seconds in an hour. So we multiply this by our process weight rate and this equals 35,910 pounds per hour. The moisture content is 8%. So 8% of this hourly rate equals 2,872.8 pounds per hour for the water content of the bed. The balance, which is 33,037 pounds per hour, is the rate of granules going through the curing process. Now that we have our various rates, we can solve for the energy needed to achieve both goals. For evaporating the moisture, 
using the latent heat of vaporization as 970.3 BTU per pound. So we can multiply this by the moisture rate and we get 2,787,000 BTU per hour as the energy required to dry the bed. For heating the bed from 85 degrees Fahrenheit to 435 degrees Fahrenheit, we stated earlier that the heat capacity of the granules is 2.2 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. So we can multiply the heat capacity by the hourly granule process rate and the temperature increase of 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we get 25,438,000 BTU per hour as the energy required to heat the bed. We add energy required to heat the bed to the energy required to dry the bed and we get 28,226,000 BTU per hour. The question is asking for the answer to be in millions of BTU per hour. So we divide this answer by 1 million BTU and we get 28.2 million BTU per hour as our answer, which is closest to C. We'll see you for episode 38 of 52PE exam problems in 52 weeks.